Well, we just placed a geocache on that island. Now there's three of them. Hopefully nobody beat me to it because it was a lot of work to get the other two out there. I'm returning back to the other side of the Willamette River. I live on the other side. Lived up here since 1990, 20 years, and uh, I really have not done much boat exploring right here by the house. I always drive a ways away to do it. But uh, I'll have to uh, get my wife out here. It's good exercise to row up river and then, uh, and then take the leisurely uh, paddle back. This is where the current grabs you. It doesn't look like much, but this is a big body of water that moves. I'll head straight across for that island, and by the time I get to the other side, I'll be below it. Coming over here, there's, I guess there's, a, I said there was two segments to this video, but there's actually three. Uh, the, the trip over, the placement of the cache, and now the return, the return home. That's Highway 99E that travels between Oregon City, Oregon, and Canby, Oregon. I-5, Interstate 5 is behind me, oh, I don't know, 10 miles or so. Oh, that sun feels good. I guess I don't have to tell you that if you're going to come out and do what I'm doing, you really should wear a life jacket. I can already tell that I'm headed downstream quite rapidly. Maybe I should paddle harder. First time I tried this, basically I showed people the front of my boat. When you have a camera mounted to your hat, it's kind of kind of hard to tell where your video is going. The river's flowing a lot harder than it was the Sunday because we've had rain, several days of rain, probably a couple inches at least. I probably should check that before I make the statement. There's two barges over there, and one of the barges is my launch site, so I gotta get over there. And the river has got a hold of me. Maybe I should point upstream a little bit here. That's a small little island that has a geocache on it. So if you come out here in a boat, I've got four geocaches to get. Four island caches. That one's called uh, uh, Prop Works, I think. Uh, the CO was out testing his new prop on his boat and he's stopped in there and dropped a geocache. This used to be a boat rebuilding place for years and years in the Canby area. Oh, a back current. Thank you. Whew. It's not over yet.
these bolts really help me. Couple geese, probably paired up. Oh, well, I hope you enjoy the videos of a place in the cache in the Willamette River on an island that has no name that I know of, so I'm calling it Shaw's Island, because he was the first one to place caches on this island and the island we just came from, the Shaw Islands. <laughs> All right, you guys, uh, I'm going to go back home and get some work done. Maybe I'll clean the house. <laughs>